hello hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here if you're new hi my name is natalie and i would love for you to subscribe um i am an accounting major currently getting my master's degree at the university of north texas so go mean green uh, and i graduate at the end of this year which is super exciting um today we're just going to be doing like it's gonna be a little bit different i feel like i've been vlogging a lot and not necessarily focusing on like my study content like in my vlog so today we're just gonna be doing like a chill study day in my life um for those of you that are new i'm currently studying for the cpa exam right now and i have two classes that i'm taking this is my last semester so i'm taking um, IT audit and then I'm also taking like a CPA prep course that is built into the program at my university so I'm doing the BSMS program and on top of that working and then studying so I'm studying first for the reg uh, exam and then I just got my audit book in today and it's a lot but um i am behind in my cpa prep course class so i'm trying to catch up as fast as i can i don't know don't know why it's taking me so long um it is a lot of material though i just feel like i wasn't taking it as seriously in the beginning and now like i think i kind of found out my study study method in a way but the material is just a lot and um but yeah so what else so i'm currently in chapter six of reg right now there's eight chapters i'm about to start module three in chapter six so let's see so chapter six there is six modules so i already finished the trust and gifts i finished the tax exempt organizations and now i'm starting module three which is the circular 230 and i'm going to try and knock out a couple modules today fingers crossed and then i'll just have chapter seven eight which is all about b law so i think i can brace through that pretty quickly but i have until the 15th to finish this whole book that's like the harsh deadline that he is giving me um since i've already like missed the actual due date so we're gonna do that i have some chicken alfredo right here so i'm gonna eat that i did work this morning um, and then I have my coffee that I brought home from work And we're just gonna go ahead and like start grinding this out. It's currently Pouring down rain and I'm so glad it just started since I just got home But yeah, it's very humid outside and it's pouring down rain. So Hopefully my motivation doesn't go down, but we're just gonna go ahead and get started So really quickly i just got my nails done i did like this burgundy red wine color and i'm just like obsessed with this color i did a different shape normally i do square with round edges but i have been doing like almond lately and i'm here for it so but we're gonna start setting
I just finished module three, which is about the circular at 2.30. Uh, the lecture was about 35 minutes. The MCQs were 18 questions, which I did uh, pretty decently on that. And then I had one task simulation. That wasn't too bad. I did get a few of them wrong. Um, but I just like went back and tried it again. So now I'm moving on to module four, which is professional responsibilities and tax return prepare penalties. It says the lecture is 40 minutes and sometimes they just take longer though because I have to keep pausing them and then between like writing my notes and highlighting, it just takes like a little longer. Um, it took me about an hour, it took me an a little over an hour, like an hour and five minutes to do module three, um, which really isn't too bad. So we're gonna jump to the lecture in module four. doing the multiple choice questions for module four so far I did I guess okay like I don't know if the score is good or not so I basically got 23 correct and 10 incorrect so I don't really know like if that's like good or okay or whatnot but there were 33 questions I knocked them all out um, let me show you. So yeah, you can see here I got 23 correct, 10 incorrect. So I don't know if that's good or bad. Um, but I have module 4 now complete. Well, I don't know if there's a simulated. Yeah, there's one task simulation right here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So, okay, here it says that I got 70 percent correct um which is like it's okay i guess i can always go back to it and work on that but i'm going to move on to the simulation and there's only one so i'm just going to read this and then work on filling in the blanks all right guys so i finished uh module four did the simulation and then i also um, looked at a couple of the multiple choice questions again and then redid some of the ones that I got wrong so that brought me back that brought me up to 97% on the MCQs 
Um, so I got two modules done today, which is a lot. Um, I was working on this for about um, four hours, maybe three hours, give and take, with like a couple breaks. Under it. Yeah. better mm -hmm. you need Thank more you. salt mm -mm. Okay. it's yummy um like give and take with like a couple breaks and like lunch and you know all that stuff so it feels super late but it's only 6 30 at night uh, with like the time change and everything it's completely throwing me off but i was crashing very hard earlier i felt like i needed to take a nap but i didn't i just like kept pushing through that cold brew did nothing for me. I was hoping it would wake me up, but it didn't. Um, with that being said, I think I'm gonna end the like study vlog here. Um, Cause I'm gonna eat dinner and kind of, I do work tomorrow morning as well. I work like every single morning this week. So, and I'm very tired already. It's like Monday, you know, it's, it's that kind of day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this type of uh, study vlog, specifically like for the CPA and stuff like that. Um, also, I guess let me show you, I have my, sometimes if I really need to like write down my work shown for like the simulations, I write them down in this little notebook and like right here you can see I have reg 6 module 4, the simulation there was only one and then I number them and then I just like show the work and kind of explain like in detail like why or like what specific concept, um, goes with that calculation kind of thing um so like for example number two was underpayment of tax liability which goes with the internal revenue code of 6694a which is like you take the greater of a thousand dollars or 50 percent of the taxpayers uh, or the preparer's income and like kind of that that's like what i do so i have that on here and then obviously like throughout the lecture they tell you what to highlight, what to star, and all of the good stuff. Um, so, that's kind of like how I study. I do the lectures, take like a little break, and then I do the MCQs, take a little break, and then I do the Sims. And that's kind of like my little method. So, um, if you have any comments or anything, leave them in the comment box down below. Subscribe if you guys are new. Give this video a thumbs up because that helps me out a ton. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, let me know and hope you have a good, hope you have a good night and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.